we've talked about how you authenticate an original Apple One, and there are a number of ways we've discussed. So why would you even want a clone Apple One? And there's some clones out there. In fact, Mike Gulligal has made some very good ones, and he said he did it as a challenge to do the reverse engineering and so forth. But you, you would use the clone to demonstrate and show other collectors and other people interested in the Apple One what a real Apple One looks like in an environment where you didn't have the security to protect the Apple One. I mean, after all, these are worth between $30,000 and $200,000 each. So you wouldn't want to put them in, in an environment where they could easily be vandalized or stolen. Yet a clone could show people what the computer was really like, and they're very good clones, they're very good copies, but they are copies, and that's certainly a very good use of a clone. So we're delighted to discuss how you have uh, the ability to term, determine if you have an original Apple One. As I said, there's a lot of ways out there, the Apple Registry, other experts, uh, but there's certainly many characteristics and it's not a problem to really tell if you have a real Apple One or a clone. So it's been delightful making this discussion and hope you enjoy seeing real Apple Ones and eventually clones as well.